Tesla has a new weapon to stamp its superiority in the EV industry. They are using revolutionary technology to essentially print a massive portion of their cars in one piece. This disrupting tech is called Gigapress, and so far Tesla is the only major automobile manufacturer to use it. Tesla started using the Gigapress in 2020 to manufacture the rear-end bodies of the Model Y. Now, it seems like Tesla is moving a step further and planning to use the Gigapress to manufacture the massive Cybertruck. So, what is the Gigapress? How does it work? And how will it help build the Cybertruck? On a basic scale, Gigapress is a die-casting machine, which is certainly not a novel phenomenon. It has been around for decades and has been used in the vehicle industry ever since its inception. In the past, die casting was mostly used to make engine parts. Cadillac, BMW, and Audi have all used casting, but it has never been used at such a massive scale. The idea of the Gigapress was put to test by Hydra Group, an Italian company founded in 1946. They made a name for themselves in the die-casting industry around Europe, but it wasn't until 2019 that they came up with their most ambitious project. They built a 5,500-ton die-casting machine, which did not succeed immediately. Success did not come easily. According to Hydra Group CEO Ricardo Ferrario, the company had to deal with too many doubters. All potential customers laughed at the idea, saying we could never make it work. That was until Elon Musk came knocking. We know how bold Tesla is when it comes to innovation, so everything was put into motion swiftly, and by 2020, the first Gigapress was in operation at the Fremont factory. This die-casting giant was 20 meters long, 5.3 meters tall, and weighed over 410 tons. According to Musk, the machine was so big that it initially did not fit in the factory and had to be covered with a makeshift shelter in the parking lot. Despite the colossal size, the Gigapress works with the same principle as normal die casting. So, it works by forcing molten metal alloy inside a reusable mold, then opening the mold to remove the finished piece after it has solidified. The open mold is cooled to 185 degrees Celsius and cleaned by robots, and fresh molten aluminum is prepared for the next cycle to begin one to two minutes after the first cycle. The immediate upshot of using the Gigapress for Tesla is greater efficiency. Instead of a car with 120 different parts, Tesla manufactures the Model Y rear and front end in single pieces. This also results in a consistent design because there are lesser points of failure. Getting the car in one piece also means that no parts need to be welded or glued. So Gigapress combines the whole manufacturing process into one giant machine, cutting down time, cost, and any inefficiencies since every part will be a replica. This also reduces the vehicle weight by 10 to 30% depending on the mix of steel and alloy used. Now, if you're into electric cars, you know that weight is a massive consideration to optimize vehicle performance. By optimizing the whole process, Gigacasting allows Tesla to build the Model Y in just 10 hours. In comparison, Volkswagen needs 30 hours to build the ID3. Lesser parts also greatly reduce the manufacturing footprint. Elon Musk has claimed that the single-piece casting design results in a 30% reduction in the size of the body shop. For example, installing the Gigapress helped Tesla reduce the number of robots at the Fremont factory by 300. As of October 2021, Tesla has five casting machines installed at Giga Shanghai, two machines installed at the Tesla factory in California, two machines installed at Giga Berlin, and two machines at Giga Texas, plus foundations in preparation for many additional Gigapress machines. Safe to say, this has helped Tesla with its production numbers. Despite the COVID-19 related shutdowns that impacted Giga Shanghai, Tesla has already delivered more than half a million vehicles in the first six months of 2022. That represents a 46% increase in vehicle production from last year, and Tesla expects to achieve more than a 50% average growth rate by next year. 
This brings me to the Cybertruck, Tesla's much-awaited vehicle that's supposed to take over the pickup truck niche. Cybertruck is obviously much bigger than the Model Y and has bigger parts. While the 6,000-ton Gigapress worked great, Elon Musk wanted a bigger machine for the Cybertruck. In his own words, we're actually going to be using even bigger casting machines for the rear body of the Cybertruck because it's a bigger vehicle and you've got a long truck bed that's going to support a lot of load. So we'll be using an 8,000 ton casting press for the rear body casting, as opposed to the 6,000 ton for the Model Y. Tesla's go-to company for the new Gigapress was of course Hydra. They've been working on a bigger Gigapress since last year and have given out exciting updates since the start of 2022. Toward the end of May, Hydra posted a YouTube video of the latest, more powerful Gigapress in action. This new machine is 50% more powerful than the one being used for Model Y, which means that it is a clamping force of 9,000 tons. 1,000 tons more than Elon Musk anticipated for the Cybertruck. Hydra initially chose to keep things quiet on the Gigapress and Cybertruck connection. In fact, their website still doesn't explicitly mention the Cybertruck. Instead, the introduction to the Gigapress mentions its use in SUVs and small truck markets. However, Elon Musk spilled the beans himself by a simple comment under the video of the Gigapress being assembled. So he has all but confirmed that the 9,000 ton Gigapress is meant for the Cybertruck. This also confirms that Tesla is close to sending the Cybertruck into production. If you have followed the Cybertruck story, you might know that many online sources have questioned whether Cybertruck will actually become a reality or if it was just a prototype meant to market Tesla. Well, the Gigapress development all but ends those rumors. Elon Musk also weighed in on the subject during the Cyber Rodeo event back in April. Production of Cybertruck is coming next year. We will be in production with Roadster and with Semi. That's all coming. This year is all about scaling up and the next year there's going to be a massive wave of new products. So it seems that 2023 is the year of the Cybertruck. Elon Musk and Tesla have been known for putting out ambitious timelines, but this one seems closer to reality because Hydra has now finished construction and testing of the Gigapress and is in the process of disassembling the machine. Once it is disassembled, Hydra will ship it to Giga Texas, where it will be reassembled and put into operation to build the Cybertruck. From what we have heard of the Cybertruck so far, it will famously be built from 90% recycled stainless steel. And in traditional die casting, the metal is heated to a molten form and then poured into a mold to create the final shape. Since aluminum has a significantly lower melting point than stainless steel, it is easier to use a Gigapress to build the Model Y's aluminum body. So, it'll be interesting to see how this new Gigapress deals with the Cybertruck's body. It's certainly going to be an interesting watch. Apart from being a stainless steel structure, there are other very interesting features of the Cybertruck. It has been dubbed as Tesla's greatest creation to date, and the features do look promising. According to the Tesla website, Cybertruck will make a name for its rugged strength. After all, it will have a towing capability of over 600 kilograms. This is mainly down to the truck's unique rear body, which is now expected to be built in a single piece with the Gigapress. The exterior body of the Cybertruck is going to be an exoskeleton unibody shell that is impossible to penetrate. It is made of 30 coatings of stainless steel building, which could have been a much bigger challenge if it was not for the super large Gigapress. Since its original announcement, the Cybertruck has gone through a few changes. It now packs more advanced features and bigger battery cells. So cost optimization is going to be another challenge for Tesla. This could be the reason that Tesla has stopped accepting Cybertruck orders from outside the US and has also removed the pricing and information from the official website. To remind you guys, the Cybertruck was originally marketed to cost $69,000, and Tesla could be working on ways to heat the cost in the same range. Gigapress can be the solution to this problem because in addition to improved efficiency and time saving, it could be a great tool for cost cutting as well. As I've mentioned, the Gigapress reduces the parts needed to manufacture a vehicle. It also eliminates the labor costs necessary to assemble all the components. Musk has himself said that the process reduced the size of the body shop by 30%, and I think that also might be the amount Tesla's saving in the long run. 
I'm pretty sure this isn't the last gigapress we see. In fact, there's already talk of a 12,000-ton gigapress in the future that will cast bodies in one piece just like Elon Musk envisioned in 2021. With our giant casting machines, we are literally trying to make full-sized cars in the same way that toy cars are made. As always, Tesla is set to drive innovation and revolutionize the production of cars. Seeing what Tesla has achieved with the Gigapress so far, many of its competitors are now moving towards the technology. Experts believe that automotive giants might find it difficult to incorporate the Gigapress in their manufacturing process because of the massive infrastructure adjustments. However, one direct Tesla competitor, Volvo, has already announced its plans for a similar technology. Chinese companies like Neo and Jipeng are the other names looking to follow in Tesla's footsteps.